what if it does happen that you uh, are you, you're asked to work in a team where the decisions are made by committee, but non-technical pe people, not stakeholders. So the stakeholders form a committee, and they then like to follow it, but they completely non-committal to the process. Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? There's so much, so much context in, in you know in every city. If, when you ask me a question, there's all these environmental contexts that I don't have. There's all the personalities involved that I don't have. And there's a million things that could make it either wonderful or terrible. And, and we can't tell it from the outside. What if, Maybe what if, what we have to be able to talk afterwards if it was good or bad. What if you know it's terrible? How do you fix it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there's, there's two quite kinds of questions, categories of questions that I just do not answer at all. Um, I can't remember the second one, but when you ask it, I'll tell you it's the second one. <laughs> but the first one always people ask is, how do I get those people over there to behave the way that I want them to? And not only do I not have an answer, I never want to have an answer because then Kim Jong of North Korea will apply it to everybody. You know. <laughs> so I absolutely am delighted to the fact that the people are these wonderful, mysterious things and I don't want to get to the bottom of the story, even if I could. Um, so, I mean, how do I? I don't know. I, I will say that uh, I, I come up with lots of ideas, but always the ideas I come up with when I'm in a situation, it's me, and we have to do something now. And the weird little contextual of, of clues that suddenly give spontaneous rise to an interesting approach. That, in any summary of the situation, would not be evident. So I cannot give people advice on what to do with their life. I can only say that I was in this wacko situation where we did this, and it worked out great. And now you extrapolate after the fact, why did that work? And you learn something interesting out of it. So I, I'm, I'm pretty crummy at giving advice, because these little contextual cues that are missing. I, I read, and I remember I tell this quite a lot actually, as a kid I read a Batman comic book that has stayed in my, my brain forever, in which Batman and, uh, and Robin are being trapped by the Joker. You guys are all up on your Batman, right? You got the Joker <laughs> and stuff like that, okay? And it turns out that the Joker has a bugging device and he's listening to Batman and Robin talk in the Batcave. Batman's telling his dreams, and he keeps telling Robin, I've been, I've been having these terrible dreams in which I'm trapped in situations I can't get out of. And so the Joker hears this and then like puts them in that situation. And you know, and, and the big, big scene at the end of the story is, is uh, like in Star Wars, in fact, and it's a wall that's coming and squashing, and there's two Gatling guns going back and forth like this, and it's filling up with water, right? So how's he gonna get out? And this is one of his dreams that he said, I just can't, there's just no way I can get out of this. And so the, Joker puts him into this thing. So what he does, you know, at the time is he goes down and he finds the shell casings on the bottom on the ground, and he picks them up and he jams them in the, under the Gatling guns so that they freeze, right? They can't move because they're jammed by the shell casings and one's this way and one's that way and then they stand on each other's shoulders and escape and all that stuff happens. And then Robin says to him after they catch the Joker and all that stuff, and, and um, Robin says, but you told me there was no escape from that. How did you figure out the escape? He said, well, in my dream, I didn't see the shell casings. Right? Dreams are not that precise that they've got the shell casings. But in the real world, I found the shell casings. Right? And so for me, a lot of the stuff that I've written about where you're in this funny, weird situation, and you find the shell casings, you jam them under the gambling guns, you do whatever you do, and here's a wacko thing, and you escape with your life, and you know, project delivers, and hero, woo woo, woo and all that stuff, right? And there's no hero part, but you don't lose your job. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I want to say, you know, when you ask me these questions, there's, you know, if I if I have a story, I'll tell you a story. But there's context in the story that's interesting. There's no context in your general questions you'll ask me, so I'll be, I'll be stuck, you know, in that sense. So it could be bad, could be good. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Really, can't go there. 